Hi, this is Ashley with Right By Me, and today I'm going to be making a alternative trifold envelope. It's not really alternative, I don't know why I said that. It's just vertical. It's with these envelopes instead, and it's going to fold in like this. So you fold out like that. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, I'm still figuring out my camera and I'm still figuring out the microphone, the previous day's video. So um, I realized that that one was really loud and very crackly and completely unable to watch it myself. So I very much apologize for that. I am trying really hard to figure this out. It's a kind of a whole new setup for me. Um, so <laughs> thank you for being patient and kind. Um, I'm going to um, decoupage these, and we're starting a new journal as well. I love starting with the ephemera because it's like my favorite part. Um, so that's what I'm doing. We're doing dragons primarily, but like medieval dragons and knights and stuff. And I, I got um, a paper pack from... Victoria Designs on Etsy, and I'm pretty much just going to be using her pack for this, and I love this knight. I cut out this knight, um, and I want to use him in this as well. I have a whole bunch of other, like, little dragon, whoops, that, that's not dragon, but it was part of the thing, like this one, or like that one. I think we can use those as well because I just I love this night so much so I also want to apologize for it being kind of dark I'm doing this at nighttime it's like 12 a m. yeah it's 12 a.m. now <laughs> so really late at night um I am actually going out to visit my family even earlier than I thought so I have to film two weeks ahead and I got to get cracking on that now because I don't have that long. Um, I don't have that long. <laughs> so let's just get going. So first things first, this is a piece of butcher paper. I'm going to use this to secure them all um, together before we use this. Uh, tissue paper, which I think fits just absolutely perfect for this project. So I might need more. Did I have more? I had more, but I threw a bunch away. Okay. Maybe I can dig some out. Well, I found some, but it's all wrinkly. I don't think it'll matter too much, honestly. Okay. We're just gonna put them together. So I'm gonna make a little indicator for myself. This side meets this side. Obviously, these sides meet. So, that way I just know that I need to glue this side. <laughs> and I laid it down. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Can you tell it's late? It's late. So, forgive me. <laughs> I've used tape tape works, but it's a little bulky and sometimes you can kind of tell. I 
And then you just want to leave a little gap so it can fold nice. How is everyone doing today? Good, I hope. <laughs> really appreciate everyone bearing with me. I, uh, I think the audio is still going to be a little wackadoo. So, sorry. I think it's going to pop my voice quite a bit, to be honest. So... don't need that. I could just use this. So as you can see, it folds nice. up. Give it a little room. Okay. And the basic construction is done. So let's give it a whirl. So it opens kind of like a wallet. And I, I fell in love with the other one I made. It was supposed to go in a journal, but I loved it so much. I kind of just held on to it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. So let's get this. Let's get a piece out. that beautiful? Is that called Damascus? I think it's called Damascus. That's like the type of print. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because it doesn't really say like, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Okie dokie does. We're going to get this all glued up. And then we're going to put that on there. But I'm going to cut this. So that it's a little easier to work with. Sorry, I'm off camera just for a minute. And that's more than enough to cover this. My trusty uh, silicone brush. <laughs> oh, I gotta get the Mod Podge open. Hold on. There we go. 
even though I clean it, it always gets a little stuck. Okay. Okay, so now we're just gluing them together. Pretty self-explanatory. Put the glue on. Make a mess. <laughs> glue it together. I absolutely will live and die by these silicone brushes. They have been a game changer and a lifesaver for a lot of things. I also got so tired of buying paintbrushes. I mean, I might have been buying the really cheap paintbrushes, but because you're buying cheap paintbrushes, because you're going to be using glue with them, they leave all sorts of little pieces in the in your projects. Just no fun. I'm going to get the first part down because this stuff actually dries pretty quick. Okay. can kind of see through but that's okay this does not bother me and it's bleeding a little bit honestly I think it just kind of adds to the grungy medieval vintagey feel to it that's just you know me personally so Oh, I got a little flickering happening. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> My husband's the technology wizard. Not, not me. I forgot to glue the little flaps. I want the flaps this as well. Let's see if I can get in there. Dunk. A little bit of glue. Wipe off the excess. I'm actually going to cut this part off as well, just to make it even easier. Okie dokie. Put that aside. It can also be used on a project. Okay. Delicately, because that didn't get glued yet, but I got a little glue over there, so, you know. <laughs> I'll try to do a bigger area. So, I watched the new Adam's fam- I used that loosely, Adam's family- um, show, because it's really about Wednesday, it's not really about her family, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, my opinion varies. Um, 
I think the show itself is pretty good. Like, it's an okay show. Nothing super special. Personally, I feel like Wednesday, even as a teenage girl, is just a bit much. But not in her lovable, kooky self. She's just a lot. And not in, like, a good way, necessarily. Although I still enjoy the character. She's just not really Wednesday to me. And it's not the actress's fault, because she plays her just fine. Jenna Ortega, I believe her name is. She's great. But um, I think the writing for her was not amazing, personally, because I feel like they also just kind of made her... She's a dark and gloomy character, but not really. She overall is a happy girl, and she is happy being spooky and weird. And, you know, in the first episode, she goes to Monster High. Um, the thing that made the Adams family so interesting is that they were kind of like the only ones, you know? The Adamses, they were the, the weird ones, and so were the frumps, you know, because that's what um, Morticia's maiden name is. So, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite, but it was a fun TV show. But as an Adams Family show or a Wednesday Adams show, no. I don't think it was. And everybody realizes that they're trying to appeal to a new audience, a new generation. And that kind of saddens me if this is the level that the new generation can handle with kind of being weird. Because she didn't fit in, you know? And they're like really pushing it that she fits in. I don't know. I guess that's good. But it's what made her relatable to me as a kid, not fitting in, <laughs> and that it was still okay to just be weird. So, I don't know. I recommend it enough. You let me know what you think. I'm going to mute the microphone real quick because I want to dry this and I don't know how this new microphone is going to react. So I'm going to mute the microphone real quick. Okay, we're back. It's dry enough to put on the top layer. I want to do a little trimming first. Make it a little easier on myself. Also, Morticia and Gomez's chemistry was atrocious. There wasn't any. 
um, bummer. And the man who played Gomez was trying, but just kind of missed the mark for me personally as Gomez. Um, and then Catherine Zeta-Jones. I love her, but she was the worst Morticia Adams I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. As I was trying to explain to my mom, she was trying... She was relying too much on the fact that she herself is a really enchanting and sexy woman. And not allowing the character to have any of the spotlight, I guess. Like, it's kind of hard to explain. But it's like she relied too much on her actual appearance and not enough on the character being, like, a sexy, mysterious, femme fatale, in a way, kind of, um, character. It was just an, an unfortunate casting. I terrible casting for that. Just terrible. I felt Pugsley was pretty good, although you barely get to see him, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Overall, if I had to rate it out of five stars, I think I'd rate it like two and a half out of five. Shame. Oh, I should probably cut the little in between nodules. Okay. So that's my big gossip. <laughs> Day was about that show. Oops. I still think it's um, a decent watch, though. Feel it getting ready to move on me. So I've been wanting to do a dragon journal for a while. I'm probably going to do another one. Um, that's even more dragon themed if that's possible. Because this one's... I feel like this one's going to lean towards medieval knights a little bit more. And then dragons are kind of in there. Like, a lot, but, like, that it's still a little bit more about the medieval fantasy knights and stuff. So. Podge that sucker in. Oh. 
want it to be nice and even. I know it's literally like watching paint dry because it's kind of what we're doing, right? Really make sure it's nice and coated. Get those corners. I'm gonna scrape my table when I'm all done today. <laughs> okay, let's do this side. I also feel like I use a little bit less Mod Podge um, with the silicone brush. Go figure. So I can't sing its praises enough. I really, really can't. I'm going to mute you one more time so that I can just um, get this a little drier. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I could have done that a little bit longer because, you know, I could use a little bit longer, but I got some peeling I got to take care of, and for that I'm just going to use some normal glue. And then we'll just press that down. Um, and I also didn't want to leave you on mute for more than what I had already left you on mute for. Because that was quite a bit of time. Uh, go 
goodness, I didn't get a whole lot of it down very well, did I? Okay, check the sides. Got a little bit there. Thought I got that spot pretty good, but I guess I didn't. That's okay. We'll fix it now before we uh, go on. Yeah, that corner definitely needs some smoosh. I did a poor job. <laughs> okay. Finish. Yeah. It's always the corners, man. I think a skunk just went off in my backyard. That's fun. Not really. It really smells. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a quick sip of my drink because it's late and I'm tired. And I got caught in mouth because of it. <laughs> okay. So it's still a little damp. You can I can feel that it's still a little cool to the touch, but we got that so it should yeah doesn't that look cool so far I think so I'm really wanting to put him on the front bam ugh I love it don't you love it please tell me you love it because I love it I might put something else behind him as well I don't know yet so now we gotta do the inside a lot of times I use that one Uh, like ledger paper. But what if we didn't use that? What if we used... I gotta make more. I'm already running out. Not this ledger paper. I love graph paper. What if the, can that graph paper fit? Not really. Almost. Sorry. Okay, so not that. I might have to use the graft paper. What did I use on the other one? I mean, oh, I know what I used. So this is what we're making. This is a, com a completed one. I used that newspaper like thing. Okay, so apparently on this one I did it reverse. <laughs> I mod podged the inside and I used the paper on the outside and this time I did it the other way around. <laughs> okay. I actually think it'll work out better this way than this one does. But this one I, I made a little notepad and then there are really there are cards that go into each um pocket see and just boop boop isn't that cool i love it okay so let me put that back so i could I could, um, I 
I probably will have to do the ledger. I just don't like the color. The color is, it's green. I'm thinking, I'm sorry. Do I have anything? I need something rather large. And I don't have a lot of different type of ledger paper. I have only a couple. I really only have this one. I only have this one. That was fun. So that's doing some fun stuff, isn't it? Let's just do it. I can darken it up. Yeah, let's just get it on. Okay. I was debating on glue stick. do it along the bottom a little bit okay and then I'll use this glue for the rest of it I'm still gonna like I just want to make sure it's really adhered to those um, corners and stuff so we're doubling up on the glue. Oops. Okay. Pin, pin, pin. Okie dokie. Artichoke. So we'll just get this pressed in there real good. The chair is extra squeaky right now. I just want to remind everybody as well, I probably should have said it at the intro because not everybody makes it this far. Um, everything in my store is 5% off until the end of December. And I will put a link to my store down below. You can also find it in my bio. Let's trim her up.
I went silent. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> okay. I got uh, just about all my Christmas shopping done already. I'm really proud of myself. I'm usually a pretty last minute person and have uh, presents rolling up right until the last second. <laughs> so my husband and myself actually were responsible this year and got those done pretty much right away. I have a couple of, I think I got one more present for him and I got one more for my sister, one more for my mom and one more for my dad. So I am pretty close to being done. Yay. <laughs> looking like a wallet. That's how I want it. Um, I got about 15 minutes left. So I'm going to finish making sure it's nice and glued. Really, it's a concern because you're going to be opening and closing this thing a lot. And me making it, I'm going to be opening and closing it frequently. So I just want it as good as it's going to get. Okay. I'm going to notch little holes in these before we continue. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. There we go. And we need to decorate a living. We just need to decorate it a lot. Because <laughs> I don't really um, like the inside right now. So our Sir Knight is going to be on the outside. I got some dragon stuff. We can kind of do what we did on my other one. Yeah, because these are all roughly the same size. So I have. Pretty much gonna use those two. Not so much those. Yeah, no. Not those ones. We'll use these. And I need some tearings of something. What? <sighs> what do we got? Got some of those kind of music notes. Not pink. Nothing pink. Maybe 
little bit of this, a little bit of that. some of this up. Okay, fine. Okay. And then... I don't know what we're going to do quite yet and how much of it we're going to do with this stuff, but I want some options. Okay. So we'll just do one at a time. like so, and then some stuff. So let's... let's get these glued down. We are probably going to have to finish this in another video. Just a fair warning. I'm going to have to make some more of this one, or similar to this, this one. I found them. <laughs> that was a concern in a previous video yesterday's, in fact. You know, I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to tear it up a little bit. What if it wasn't just like oh, this perfect little piece and just tear it in some spots? What about that? I think I like that. I'll do that to the other ones as well. Can you bear with me for a minute? I want to try something as well to make it a little look a little maybe burnt a little I really gotta find my other stuff my other um, blending tool it's somewhere I have like three or four of them and I can't find can't find a lot of them. How are we doing? Oh, I'm pretty much time up. 
Okay. Yeah, what if we just did that on some of the... I hardly use this ink, so I think I might want to do this a little bit more because I am really liking how that looks. I'm going to just zoom you in a little bit if I can. Zoom in, zoom in. Can we see that any better? And let, yeah, it looks charred. I love it. Well done, brain. <laughs> you get a little pat on the back today. <laughs> okay. So I want this going like that. And I think I want a little... After this video, I'm looking for my second one. Is happening with my glue. Okay. This is not working very well. Clear the channel. There we go. Squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and nothing's coming out. I love 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 that so much oh i love it okay what do we got probably not enough to finish another one maybe probably not but maybe <laughs> let's do this one and let's just go ahead and do the similar uh treatment Do that. Do a little burn like here. Do a little over here. Change this out. <laughs> really, really, really gotta find that other one, don't I? I really kind of want it to overlap quite a lot now because I'm going to blacken it. So I want the brown to come in farther than I usually might. Okay. Just 
decent amount of black on that. And we don't want that going as far in. Also don't want to run it all the way around. We really just kind of want to concentrate the black on the burnt part and kind of drag it down because of the soot. kind of burnt done it oh I freaking love that just keep going just keep going you got a little bit of time left so I'm just gonna a little bit a little bit Stop leaving this glue open for so long in between things. Because boy, does it like to dry and clog up. Just about out of time. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping things up. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you've made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it so much. So much more than you could possibly know. Um... As some of you know, I'm in this hobby. I'm looking for friends and people to talk to and do things with and um, the, all that kind of jazz. <laughs> so it really means a lot when you uh, hang around and uh, just spend time with me. So uh, thank you so much and I hope to see you again very soon in my next video. Bye! <laughs>